Okay, so Lindsay, several people claim that our company was unfair when it failed to give bonuses to the staff. So several people, so you know, at least two, claim that the company was unfair when it did not give bonuses to the staff. Perhaps they recalled that the company had promised that if it increased its profits over last year's, the staff would all get bonuses. So these people that are complaining probably remember that, hey, if we increased our profits over last year, we would get bonuses. However, the company's profit was much smaller this year than it was last year. Clearly then, the company acted fairly. Mm -hmm. All right, so our conclusion is the company acted fairly and we're saying that because they did not increase the profit as much as they said they that what would guarantee that they would get a bonus. Mm -hmm. So if I had to predict a flaw, I would predict that well is increasing its profits over last year is that the only way or the only reason that they would get a bonus yeah i also was kind of confused because i was like okay well like what if they made profit like they're still making profit it's just not as big as last year's so couldn't that still be potentially like yeah like maybe it was enough yeah but yeah that's what i predicted okay so A, relies on the opinions of certain unnamed people without establishing that those people were informed on the matter. Does this happen? Um, no, because like I would say that these people that claim this would be informed on the matter. Right. And I don't, an issue. I don't know about, I like put opinion with claim. Like is the, does this do? Well, they're claiming this, like their opinion is that it was unfair. Right. Okay. Their, their, their hypothesis or their conclusion but that's not the issue that's not why that's not the issue with why we can say the company we can't say the company acted fairly okay so like this would be like a general like there's only one way to suffice the outcome um this would a if a was the answer it would be like saying well john said that all apples are red Therefore, the apples are going to be, when we go shopping, the apples are going to be red. Okay. Well, why does, how do we know that John knows what color apples are? Right, we don't. Right. Okay. okay, E, infers that an opinion is false merely because one potential reason for that opinion has been undermined. So infers means conclude. So do we conclude that an opinion is false just because one potential reason for that opinion has been undermined? I like that so far. So what does it mean to saying concludes that an opinion is false, that they're... We conclude that the several people's claim is false. Is wrong, right? Because... Um, because we undermined one part of it. We undermined the fact that maybe we didn't increase... The profit as well. Last year is enough to get bonuses. But there could be other reasons why we might need to get bonuses. So I like B so far. Okay. Um, C dismisses the claim on the basis of certain irrelevant attributes of people who made the claim. No, that's irrelevant. Mm -hmm. D confuses the size of a quantity with the amount by which the, no, not D. I have a question with D because I liked D when I did it. Um, I was thinking that the quantity, so it kind of went back to what I predicted that like it may have not be as big of a um, profit, but it was still a profit. Right. But even if that happened, that goes back to what the root of the problem is, is that whatever they said is just not enough to get to, like, just because we didn't get to what they said would guarantee bonuses, mm -hmm. just because we don't have that doesn't mean there's not other reasons to get there. It's not necessarily on the size Okay. Because you're being you're being too specific. Like it's not just the amount of profit that's the issue, right? Like there could be other reasons too why they should get bonuses. Okay. Um, and confuses the size of a quantity. So confuses the profit. The profit with the amount by which that profit has increased. Do we confuse that? I don't really know what it means by by which the quantity has increased. So that would be like confuses, um, like confuses how much money we made total mm -hmm. by 
with the amount of money we just made over last year. Do we confuse those two numbers? Oh, okay, no. No. Okay, okay. and B overlooks the possibility that a policy can be fair even when it is not generous. No. No, because that's like exactly what we're doing. That's not a flaw. So our answer is going to be B. Do you agree? Yeah, I think so. I liked how we got rid of the other ones. I just, 